Before we put the lid on our fermenter and let the Camden tablet sterilize the juice, we're going to test our batch with the hydrometer to see how much sugar is currently in it. The basic idea of a hydrometer is that it floats higher if the liquid being tested is heavier and it floats lower if it's lighter. Because sugar is heavier than water, the higher the hydrometer floats, the more sugar is in your batch. So it'll float highest at the beginning of the process when the sugar is at its highest, and it'll float lowest at the end when most of the sugars in your wine have been converted into alcohol. There are three common scales listed on your hydrometer, specific gravity, potential alcohol, and the brick scale. Specific gravity is the most common scale used by home winemakers and is a scale you'll see listed in most home wine recipe books. It revolves around the weight of the water, so if you place a hydrometer in just plain water, its SG reading will be 1. At the beginning when your batch is full of sugar, it should be around 1.070 and 1.100, depending on the recipe and the type of wine you're making. At the end of the process, when most of your sugar is converted into alcohol, the SG reading should be below 1.000, which is a little less than water because alcohol is lighter than water. The potential alcohol shows you how much alcohol could be made from the amount of sugar that's currently in your batch. So my reading right now is around 10% potential alcohol, which means if all the sugar that's in the batch right now get converted into alcohol, my finished wine would be 10% alcohol. That's why we take readings at the beginning and the end of our process, so we can accurately calculate the alcohol in our finished wine. We do this by subtracting the last reading from our first reading and see how much alcohol was produced. So if you have 13% potential alcohol at the start and 1% potential alcohol at the end, your wine is 12% alcohol. The brick scale is another common scale that's used in winemaking, but it's used more by the grape growers and professional wineries though you may see it come up if you're reading more advanced wine recipe books. The brick scale measures the percentage of sugar by weight in a liquid and goes from 0 to 30. So if the grape juice measures a 20 on the brick scale, the grower knows that it contains 20% sugar. And from there it can determine if the grapes are ready for harvest or not. Take a reading with your hydrometer, take your sterilized wine thief and fill the hydrometer tube with your wine. Place the hydrometer in the tube and give it a spin to make sure it's not touching any of the sides. Read the hydrometer at the overall surface line of the batch. You'll see the liquid curve up a little bit on the sides of the hydrometer, and if you read at the very tip of that, it'll give you a false read. If you determine after your test that you want your finished product to have a higher alcohol percentage, you can dissolve one half cup of sugar at a time to your batch to bring up the potential alcohol reading.